Hello my name is Sweet Buddies, welcome to all of you, this is Vunay Bhavari, today in this short we will be discussing about the topic called as the topic is um, doubts and clarification about the English language, so today in this short we will be discussing about the topic called as the topic is doubts and clarification about the English language, in English language there are few words, those few often uh, confusing to all of us, those few words are often confusing to all of us, here are two homophones, those homophones are uh, intricate and cumbersome to understand so that's why in hurry and in, in hasty we people inter interchangeably we are using those both words those both words are nothing but weaver and weaver w e a v e r is also the weaver and v i e w e r is also the weaver so which one is the correct one those both are the individuals so i will clarify with the instance that w e a v e r is nothing but one who stitches or one who views Okay, W-E-A-V-E-S, views or one who stitches, he's, he is called as the weaver or one who stitches the pant, one who views the pant, he is called as the weaver and uh, V-I-E-W-E-R is the different one, completely different than that weaver, uh, W-E-A-V-E-R, so V-I-E-W-E-R is nothing but one who views or one who sees or one who looks okay so now you are uh, watching this video means you are viewing okay you are viewing means one who views one who looks one who sees he is called as the viewer that's we call the viewer v i e w e r and w e a v r is nothing but one who stitches or one who views that's we call the viewer and this is the viewer both are the homophones both are seeming uh, sorry both are sounding same and ha are having the differentiation uh, between both of them in the spellings and in their meanings that's we call the homophones thank you so much i hope you will understand you will be capable to understand which word where to use and which word when to use where to use how to use thank you so much